Hi guys, it's Story. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the 2020 Oscars and our reactions to who won. Uh, we also already filmed a video I posted two weeks ago of us doing predictions of who was going to win. You'll find out at the end of the video who won between us two. What a good build. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Visual effects went to 1917. I guess wow. The Irishman and you guess Star Wars. So neither of us won. Neither of us won. I don't even think, was, was that the one Star Wars wasn't even nominated for? I think our facts are wrong. Yeah, some of our facts were wrong. That's your fault. No. Oh. <laughs> Makeup and hair went to Bombshell. I think that was Bombshell's only win. Yeah. Right? It was their only nomination too. I've heard that movie's really bad. I've heard of it. I've heard good things. Oh, okay. I guess The Irishman, you guessed Jojo Rabbit. Original score went to Joker. Yeah, I won it. Yeah, William guessed that. I guessed Star Wars. So, yeah. one point to William. Good job. She won a Golden Globe, too. Oh, I was so surprised. <laughs> Were you actually, though? Good for her. You were surprised you guessed it. Gildor. Was that her name? Hildor or Gildor? Hildor Guanadotir. I'm going to name my son after her. Original song went to I'm going to Love Me Again, which Rocket Man. I picked. Which you did not pick. I picked. You did not get that one. Well, I picked it. William picked the Toy Story 4 song. <laughs> I didn't even pick the Toy Story 4. I see it right here. It says. Not Will's first choice. Well, whatever. So it doesn't count. I guessed Frozen 2, which did not count. What a lame choice. They won the first one. First Frozen one. It's a different year. That's a different song. It's a good song though. It was creepy. The remember it was the one girl in the back. They did all the languages, which was really cool. But for some reason, they had that she, creepy girl in the back. She was doing, like, ah, ah. it was weird. It was creepy. She would come up and do it, and then she would disappear again. I'm. She was like a little fairy or something. I, I bet. I bet it's in the. I bet it's in the movie. Like a little fairy sings that Maybe. song or something. It has to be. Why would they do that? Because it would give kids nightmares. <laughs> it gives me nightmares. Okay, production. That little bitch running around in the back. Fuck that. Stop Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, production design. Went to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Wow. We both guessed 1917. Yeah. In the video. I really thought I was going to get it. I like the whole like Hollywood in the 60s, 70s vibe. But do you think it deserved it? I don't know. I thought 1917 <laughs> was awesome with their set building, so I thought they should have gotten it. But I mean, yeah. Once upon a time in Hollywood. Apparently, it was, it was pretty... a lot of visual effects, though. By the way, we both saw uh, 1917. I liked it a lot. We also saw Knives Out. 1917 and Knives Out were both really good, but they were a little too hyped up for me. I thought they were just going to be like out of my mind, yeah. out of my mind. <laughs> it won a Golden Globe, and then I went and saw it. You know what I mean? Like it won the Golden Globe for Best Picture. So. So yeah, I had pretty high expectations for it. Sound mixing. I did not write who won. I won. It was 1970. <laughs> <You> <laughs> we both guessed the same thing. Oh, I guessed right on sound editing. We both guessed Ad Astra, but that didn't win. I think that was 1917 is what won. Sound editing was Ford versus Ferrari. So William got that. I knew it too. I felt it in my bones. I really did. Um, I guess 1917. Film editing went to Ford versus Ferrari. We both guessed yeah. Joker. Yeah, I haven't seen Can't Ford versus yet. Ferrari, so I don't have any really. <laughs> any input. I'm not shocked by it or anything. Best international feature film went to Parasite. Oh God. Should we talk about how Parasite won? How many times? Like Five everything. Times? They won a lot. I've Best... not heard bat one bad thing about Parasite. Everyone is obsessed with it. That's awesome though. Best international feature film. Parasite. Yeah, I definitely should have guessed Parasite for that yeah. one. I don't know why I didn't. Best live action short film went to The Neighbor's Window. I guessed Brotherhood and you guessed A Sister. It's a bum. I mean, I haven't seen all of them, but I saw A Sister and I really like that one. But I guess we'll have to check out that other one. I haven't seen any of them. I was just guessing. Best documentary short subject went to Learning to Skateboard in a War Zone. That's another one for me. Yeah. I guess life overtakes me. We don't have much to say about these because we haven't seen any of them. Yeah, I haven't seen any they of these. They were all, they were 100% guesses. Yeah. Best documentary feature went to American Factory. Yeah. Yeah. Which William got right. And I had guessed Honeyland. And we watched American Factory after the last video. Oh, I loved it. We've watched it. a lot of these yeah. beforehand. Yeah, I love that. I thought it was good, but I didn't think it was amazing. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> No, it was good though. Actually, I liked the I pharmacist liked it. better. It was very, that's like a docu-series though. Cinematography went to 1917. Yeah. And we both 
guessed this one. Roger so, Deakins. At this point, it's like, what, five to one? Yeah, something like that. Something, it was crazy. Something like I that. I knew he would, though. Woo! That was really good. <laughs> I really like that. I knew he would win it. 1917 actually only won, like, I think it was two Oscars. I don't know. But I feel like they deserve this one, for sure. Original screenplay went to Parasite. Yeah. Um, I guess Knives Out, and you guessed Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Yeah, that was probably the biggest surprise out of all these. Biggest upset. Stuff, I, it came out of nowhere. I'm happy it did, though. This That's year, the only one we haven't seen, though, Parasite, so. Yeah, I'm really, you know what, I'm really happy that uh, we're recognizing these foreign movies. Why did I choose Knives Out? That is the question. <laughs> it was good. That was, that was a good story. It was really good characters in that movie. Yeah. I mean, I feel like that was the whole movie. It had nothing really to do about the mystery more than it did about the characteristics of these characters that we're following. That's true. Adapted screenplay went to Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. Woo! Woo! Um, you guessed The Irishman and I guessed Little Women. So we were both wrong, but oh. Jojo Rabbit did win something. Yeah, I... I'm really happy about it too. That was my favorite movie of the year was Jojo Rabbit. So I thought for sure Jojo Rabbit was going to win in a different category that we're about to talk about. So were you surprised that The Irishman or Little Women didn't get it? I'm more surprised that The Irishman didn't get it. Steve Zollian is a phenomenal uh, screenwriter and probably one of the best to ever do it. So I'm, prob I'm more surprised that he lost out just because normally when he gets nominated, I mean, it's like Steve Zollian writes a screenplay. It's just like, do we just go home now and just give it to him or <laughs> what, what happens? I didn't see Little Women so and I've never read the book, so I don't know how Greta Gerwig's screenplay was. I just heard it was so good and it's freaking Little Women. Yeah. And there's like amazing actresses in it. So it's got to be good. Yeah. I'm really excited. I, I'm it. happy for Greta Gerwig <laughs> though. For her to not be as established as someone you think would be to make a movie like uh, Little Women, I think that's awesome. All right. Animated short went to Hair Love. We both guessed Sister. These were just guesses. The, yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I haven't seen any of these. So I don't even care. When we saw the little uh, snippets of each one though, I didn't like hair love. I thought that was really cute. Yeah, they all look really good. Animated feature went to Toy Story 4. Yeah. So That's another one. William got that one too. <laughs> I guess How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World. Yeah. Mm. I was just trying to be different. <laughs> all right, getting into the good ones. Best director went to Bong Joon-ho for Parasite. God, Lee, man. I guess Killed Todd it. Phillips and you guess Sam Mendes. Yeah, I really thought Sam Mendes was going to get it. That's another surprise. You know what, Bong Joon-ho, however you want to say his name, <laughs> like you know how to. <laughs> I do. I do. Bong Joon-ho. They said it enough times. Last night was his night, for sure. And he was so funny. He was he hilarious. He was funny. He, the first, okay, so the first one was like just really sweet and like he was just super excited and like honored, you know? And then mm -hmm. the uh, the second time he went up there. So he spoke in Korean like the entire time and at the end he was like, I'm going to drink a lot tonight. Yeah. It was funnier when it happened, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it was really funny though. You, don't, you can't light up a room like he can story. I don't yeah. even know. Is anyone upset that Greta Gerwig wasn't nominated for Best Director? I mean, they talked a lot about females she probably not got being stubbed. nominated. I mean, there was tons for sure being nominated, just not director. Supporting actress went to Laura Dern for Marriage Story. Uh, we both guessed Scarlett Johansson for Jojo Rabbit. So this is what yeah. I was talking about earlier um, that I thought Jojo Rabbit was for sure going to get. Mm -hmm. I still think she she was awesome. Yeah, she didn't win anything. She, <laughs> she was nominated twice and it went shit. She had a terrible year. <laughs> No, she had a really good She year. had a terrible... Yeah, she had a great year. She had a bad night. You saw Mar all of Marriage Story. Yeah. Do you think she deserved it over Scarlett Johansson? You know, it's weird because I don't think any of these people deserve it over the other person. It's so weird how they choose it because they're all phenomenal and it's really hard to pair them up against each I other. Would I would really like to see, like, the score sheet. Um, <laughs> I doubt they have a score sheet, but, like, how they actually... What is the criteria? I really want to know. I guess it's pretty subjective. Your movie to get nominated, it does have to go to a certain amount of release. A couple years ago, uh, the streaming services weren't able to be nominated because they actually didn't have a theatrical release. It's changed now. They changed the standards yeah, a little bit. Wish they should have because there was. The game. Yeah, I mean, there was. Winning, like Netflix two or, won. There was like two years where Netflix was just. This is, yeah, what would they win? American Factory. Oh, yeah, they did. Yep, yeah, American Factory. Mm -hmm. Supporting actor went to Brad Pitt, Once Upon mm -hmm. a Time in Hollywood. 
and we both guessed Brad Pitt. Was so. it gonna go to anyone else? I don't no. know. I guess it could. Tom Hanks, maybe. Oh my God! When Brad Pitt said he was like, "I'll follow behind your." tailcoat yeah. um any day to leo and he they're just looking at they just they seem like they're in love <laughs> honestly it's like the cutest thing ever they have a bromance oh that's funny for sure it's a really good view <laughs> is what he said did you know this is the first year since 2005 that leo has brought a date to the oscars wow i'm more like i'm um, into pop culture than you but did you know that is that pop culture <laughs> yeah it's like celebrity uh i would win in like a celebrity trivia game for that. Like, oh wow okay Lead actress went to Renee Zellweger. Weger. I will never say that right. Renee Zellweger. Um, for Judy, and I guessed this right. So this is the one time I got something right and you didn't. Mm hmm I don't know what the score yeah, is. Guess, I've already I lost guess track. Little Women. That's Sarosi. Is that her name? Sarosi something? Sersha. Sersha. I will yeah, remember Saoirse. that now. Yeah, it's not Suarez. Suarez. <laughs> or Cersei. She won the Golden Globe for um, Best Actress as well. She had a very long speech, and it was... Basically dedicated to Judy. Can we talk about how they just got rid of the playing the music when your speech got on too long? Holy yeah. crap, dude. They talked forever. Did they get shit for that Which or I'm something? all about it. I mean, I'm what sure I not, but in my opinion, I'm like, keep it down to like 30 seconds. I think I would have liked Saoirse to win. That's probably the only one I really care about, though. All right, lead actor went to Joaquin Phoenix for Joker, and Ooh. we both Guess this right. Yeah. It was, was it ever going to go to anyone else? This is the only one where I, the only category that I think, like, he definitely, like, is better than the other uh, nominees and just because he was fucking crazy. Yeah. I don't think anyone really compared to him. Yeah. Personally. Not this year. Yeah. His speech was um, very long and he did not talk about the movie one time. No. He, he did not say Joker. He did not talk about it whatsoever. He did not thank anybody. He didn't think he didn't thank anyone that made the movie or anyone else. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He didn't let people clap for him either. Do you remember that? Oh yeah. People like kept three trying different to clap times. and he's like, I'm still talking. He's like, I'm still no, talking. No, seriously, stop. <laughs> like yeah. seriously. And last but not least is Best Picture. Went to, I almost forgot, Parasite. Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, I didn't mark it down. Um, and we both guessed that 1917 was going to win. It would come down between 1917 and Parasite probably. Or but right. you know what? Were you surprised? I was surprised. Whenever we guessed this one, it was the very first one. You said it's either between 1917 or Parasite, and I, I went Parasite. And then you were like, you know what? I'm gonna go with 1917. So you almost guessed Parasite. Well, I almost got it. I became less surprised as the night went on and uh, kept winning more and more awards. Yeah. Well, he was surprised too. The director was. Yeah, these probably are the best movies of the year. One of the biggest reasons I picked 1917 because it's it kind of is an Oscar Beatty movie. It just kind of fits the lines. I kind of figured Once Upon a Time in Hollywood probably wasn't gonna get it. I figured Marriage Story was probably gonna lose out. I never really considered Ford versus Ferrari. Really, I thought Parasite, 1917, maybe like Jojo Rabbit, maybe Little Women, but probably not that too. That seems like a very Oscar Beatty. I mean, Little Women definitely is an Oscar Beatty movie too. So out of all the movies I've seen, I would choose Joker. Now that I've seen 1917. I still like it, but if it was me choosing, I would still choose Joker. It's hard to pick between all these people and all these categories because every movie is its own thing and it's different. It's hard to hold one above another when there's just so many different layers to each film. I have a new idea. Next year we're gonna watch all the movies nominated before the Oscars come out. That'd be a lot of money. We have to watch all of those movies in theaters. Yeah. So hopefully a lot of uh, Netflix ones get, yeah. <laughs> get nominated. So the final score was William Nine Story Four. Technically I had 10. But technically he had nine. I'll be a humble winner and accept nine. It was fun to do this again with you. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching. If you watched the Oscars this year and you liked them, didn't like them, give this video a thumbs up. Why not? Um, subscribe if you feel like it. Thanks no, for watching. No, just subscribe. It doesn't even matter if you feel like it or not. Just do it. <laughs> Bye. Bye.